Jim Mora and the UCLA Bruins are feeling right at home hosting their training camp at Cal State San Bernardino for the second straight season. The Bruins are getting a bird's eye view of the action. Not that kind of bird, but the view from this aerial GoPro shooting video of the team. Coach Mora likes what he sees, calling Wednesday morning's practice the best yet, but adds his Bruins still have a lot of work to do. You know, we got a long ways to go still, a ton, of, a ton of work to do, but we're doing the things we have to do to become a better football team. Now, to me, it's just locking in on eliminating those, those mistakes that, as we know, hurt us last year. The Bruins went 9-5 and last season en route to the Pac-12 South Division title. UCLA will look to several players with inland area roots for another strong season in 2013. With running back Jonathan Franklin now in the National Football League with the Green Bay Packers, the running back position is open for UCLA. Two locals are in the mix to fill that gap, including Corona's Jordan James and true freshman Craig Lee out of Redlands. And there's five guys that we can count on to, uh, to go in there and play. Craig's not in that group yet, but that doesn't mean he can't get into that group. He's a freshman. Um, you know, he, he, he missed the offseason work or the summer work with us, but I like him. I think he's athletic and and he's picking the system up quickly. But guys like Jordan James and Steven Manfro and Malcolm Jones and Paul Perkins, uh, Figgy, when he gets back, they're, they're just ahead of him right now. Just learning the plays and stuff, and yeah. I'm trying to make a great impact on the school. Try to set my way up. Hard work, dedication, this is what I've always wanted. I'm just trying to get better every day. And like I said before, trying to help the other running backs um, reach their full potential any way as possible. I'm just trying to be a good role model to them. Blocking for James Lee and the rest of the UCLA running backs will be the Rancho Verde's Powasi Moala, although he did not practice on Wednesday morning for precautionary reasons. Mora expects Moala to rejoin the team in helmets and pads very soon. On the defensive side of the ball, junior linebacker Ryan Hoffmeister is back in the mix after seeing considerable playing time last season. Hoffmeister is hoping to crack the starting lineup on a weekly basis. The former Vista Marietta and Riverside City College star is used to winning. I've been a part of so many programs that I've, you know, I was at Riverside and uh, they, they went from being 1 in 10 and, you know, I got there and to be a part of something like that and bring it up and then come here and feel like I'm a part of another program that's, you know, coming up, everybody's talking about us again. Um, you know, just, it just feels great once again. I just love being part of something that's so special. Well, let's not leave out Vista Marietta, right? Yeah, <laughs> you I had mean, some good teams down yeah, there. Yeah, you always, you always got to love Vista. On the defensive line will be Carter's Kenny Clark, who dominated at the high school level. Clark is now making a name for himself at UCLA. Yeah, everything is bigger, um, uh, faster, uh, people are stronger. I, I really think that uh, and, uh, like the difference between high school and college is just that you got to give 100%. You know, every play, you're not always bigger than everybody and stronger than everybody. Everybody's just as good as you, so you got to give it 100% effort every play. Rev product Kylie Fitz will join Clark on the defensive line for the Bruins. From UCLA camp, I'm Pep Fernandez for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.